you manage Tupac? In what years? Um, I managed him up until the last nine months of his life. Wow. And so, you know, from, from when he was about 18 years old, 17, 18 years old, up until the last nine months of his life. He fired me once. And then the, the <laughs> and the manager that took over hired me back <laughs> on, on his behalf. And we, and we ended up uh, working together. Now, Tupac was a part of Digital Underground, we all know, okay? Mm -hmm. you, you, you also worked with Digital Underground. You were their manager as well. Still am, did, yeah. Okay, did, did you see, uh, oh yeah, my man says, why didn't Pac sign with Easy? Did, he, did, did you know, yeah, because you were with Easy and, uh, why didn't Pac sign with Easy? You know, I wanted to start my own thing. And so by the time I'd started my own thing, remember Digital Underground was first, before right. Pac. Right. So I'd already started my own thing. So there wasn't really even a thought process of signing with Easy. Um, I, you know, I guess I could have because why go to Interscope when I could have just went to Ruthless? Right. Um, I, I was just, you, you know, it's like Jerry. You know, a lot of people have a lot of things to say about Jerry, but mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time with Jerry, and Jerry, Jerry mentored me on how to do the right things. Okay. What he may have done or not done, I even learned what not to do in some cases with Jerry. Okay. But so when you you split from, you know, it's kind of like splitting when you when you leave home, you 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 never want to go back home. Right. You never want to say, Ma, I you know I can't I can't figure out a way to pay rent. Dad, I can't figure out a way to pay rent. I need to move back into my old bedroom that they've turned into something else anyway. But you know you you never want to you you really never want to go back home. So, right. you know, Ru Ruthless was, was definitely like home to me, just like Crew Cut. Right. But I never, it never even considered doing that. Hmm. Okay. And that, it, it, could, it could really be that, that simple. You just kind of, you want to fly and you want to show what you can do yourself. Right, okay. Now, yeah. you, was, was Tupac an original member of Digital Underground? He, was he a featured artist? What, how did he get, become a part of he, that? He, 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 wasn't, he wasn't an original member. Tupac signed separately. As a, well, actually, it was um, the name of the group was Strictly Dope. Okay. They they signed they signed separately, and then you know as as you know, all groups break up. We always say this: they either break up before they get started, they break up in the middle of their run, or they break up when they get super successful. But almost every group is never the same group that it was when they started. Now, I can't think of very many groups that are. Um, you know, there's some, but generally I can't think of very many groups there are. So they broke up before they even got started. It was Ray Love, uh, DJ Diz, and Tupac. Okay. So then then we did, we started doing demos on Tupac, and it was very hard to get a deal at that time for whatever reason. And Digital was getting ready to go on tour, and the short story is that, you know, uh, Shock agreed to take Tupac on tour with him. And then when he did that, you know, Tupac started doing a verse here and there. And then when it was time to do another song, it was just kind of a knack again, you know, just like me in management, him as a as an artist and a rapper is natural for him to be in the in the next song that was going to be a single, which was same song. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That was that was, that that movie that that song was in, okay. <laughs> that was the strangest goddamn movie in the world, okay? It, it, yeah, nothing, nothing but trouble. Yeah, that movie was a nightmare in real. I mean, if you, if you had to live in that situation, them little, two little fat ass, ugly, mission and tire looking son of a bitches in diapers. Okay, the doctor, the the judge with the dick nose. Okay, the crazy ass um, elevated that shot you. I mean, the uh, side that shot you downstairs into a dungeon of lights and plates and bones and shit. Man, that's a nightmare. That's literally a nightmare. Okay, mm -hmm. um, the uh, the city that is, is sitting on top of I don't know mines or iron fields or whatever it was, and it just it just was a, it, one of the movies I like it, but it's not a movie I watch at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> I'll movie. tell you, man, that that was my first experience on a major motion picture, and it, it was a great experience. Because they spent, I believe they spent thirty million dollars on that movie back then. Back then, That's, that was a lot of money, and I, I think it. I always looked at it as 
Warner Brothers appreciation to Dan Aykroyd. Okay. Here, here's some money. Do whatever it is you want. You've made us so much money. Do what you want with it. And all his friends came and were in the movie with him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John Candy. Um, his sister, or something like that. It, that uh, daughter or something like that. Um, she was. Mm -hmm. And the the crazy ass bailiff. Um, but it was just so it was so offbeat. It just was. It made it for a good yeah. movie. But like I said, if 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 you if, 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 it was just shy. Not I would call it. I wouldn't call it a horror movie. It wasn't a horror movie. But it just was some weird shit, you know. If you ever experienced that in real life, that's some shit that'll fuck you up. You need to. Start I, I, you know, I, I, ne I never thought about that because you know, obviously, I've seen the movie, but you know, I was also on the set of the movie. So when you're on a set of something, it has a whole different vibe than when you actually see it. So I didn't even look at. It. But you know, a lot of shot, a lot of the shooting was at night, okay. and uh, yeah, but it, it was uh, it was it was a crazy time. I mean, guys, you know. That uh, Dan Dan Aykroyd's his character was a city slicker, or something coming through town, got pulled over, and mm -hmm. uh, then he became the judge. Yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, man, it was a crazy ass movie. I, it's probably on Netflix or Hulu or someplace. Check it out. It's called Nothing But Trouble. And I was, yeah. when, I, when I saw Tupac's part in that movie, we we hadn't spoken in a while at that time. You and I hadn't spoken at, during that time period. I didn't know I didn't know your relationship to Tupac or Digital Underground at that time. I said that dude is pretty good. Okay, that dude is pretty mm -hmm. good. That was interesting, especially um, was he? Uh, no, because because uh, Shock played the keyboard, played the uh, the organ. Keyboard, yeah, yeah. yeah, the organ. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. man, it was a movie. Um, when you saw him, Tupac taking flight, how 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 did that sit with the rest of the fellas? Oh, they loved it. You know. You know the one thing about di about Digital Underground, they were one big family, and and still are one big family. Okay. Um. So there was no jealousy. There was none of that. It, it was it was all love, uh, all hope and appreciation for everyone to be successful. Okay. You know, yeah. and everyone was rolling back then. So you know th that was always his that was always his trajectory was to be a solo artist. It was never really to be part of a group. He ended up being part of a group. But you know his trajectory was always to be a solo artist. I never heard him diss Digital Underground. I remember him saying it one time. I heard him say one time that uh, when he was a Digital Underground, he would literally dance and do a do a exotic dance in his drawers just to have some place to sleep at night. I, I heard him say it on a on a on a, on a uh, interview one time. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I appreciate I, I appreciate that and respect that um, by him saying that because sometimes people forget where they come from. You know, yeah. And he he never did. I, that, you know. And I think that's a Gemini trait, being that I, I got to say this again, being that he and I share the same birthday. 